hello friends welcome to DevOps training session and in this video lecture we will learn how to configure email notification and how to trigger a notification whenever build failed or build success so when we install the Jenkins that time uh, we install the email notification plugins so let's check the plugins is installed or not so to check we have to go to manage Jenkins option and manage plugins and uh, install plugins here we can search email and we can see here email extension plugins is installed so let's go to the Jenkins dashboard now we have to configure the email notification so for that one we have to go to the manage Jenkins option and configure system and go to the last so here we have two option for email notification so in email, uh, SMTP server we have to provide smtp.gmail.com and suffix is at the gmail.com click on the advanced and we have to checkbox this use SMTP authentication and here we have to define username and password so you can create any uh, gmail account for testing purpose and provide the password and click on use SSL checkbox after that we have to uh, give the port number so SMTP port is 465 and uh, if you want to see the email is working or not so just click on this checkbox and provide the email address so I'm just copy same email address here and test configure so email was successfully sent if you are getting any error in this section so you will go to the gmail and go to the manage your account and go to the security and less secure app access you have to on this one so once you on this one your email will send so after enable let's secure app access let's go to the gmail and check the email as scam or not so email is already received let's delete that one and again test so manage jenkins configure and go to the test configuration by send email provide same email id and test configure sorry so email was sent successfully let's go to the gmail account yeah we received the email from jenkins so this is the test email seven sent from the jenkins so email is configuration is done so now we have to go to the dashboard sorry apply and save and go to the Jenkins dashboard so uh, we are in dashboard we have the one sample project for Java and uh, that you can find in my previous lecture how to create a sample project so let's click on the project and configure and we want to make this build failed so click on add execute shell and put any command here so this command will not found during the executing shell command now once the build is completed we have to send a notification so to that one we have to select a post build action and email notification provide the email address here and send a email for every unstable build so this action will be triggered once the build will failed so let's click apply and save and click on build now so build is started so we can see here build is success then start the executing shell command and here the shell command is failed and here we can see here sending email to that provided recipient email address 
so we, let's go to the gmail account and here we can see that when we have received the email from jenkins that build is failed in jenkins so we can see here okay so build is success here and when we executing the shell command the build is failed and we are getting the notification so our next target is we have to send email notification always whenever build is success or build is failed so let's configure that things in jenkins go to the dashboard manage jenkins option and configure the system and here we are going to extended email notification and here we have to provide same thing that we provide in email notification section so here we are providing the smtp suffix and user id and password and smtp part and we are selecting the default content html you can select text file also so just after setting this information click apply and save and go to the your project configure and select in post build action editable email notification and go to the advanced setting option select add trigger and use always and you can remove this option so and we have to set a recipient here so i'm just copy same recipient and click apply and save and let's trigger the build so build is started so build was success and sending email so the build is success now let's see the email is came or not yeah so email will just received the java sample build number 20 and successful so this is the process how to integrate email notification thank you all please like and subscribe my youtube channel